All right, today, guys, I got this super start battery from about 2009. The voltage won't go up past 9 volts, unfortunately, and I got it free from my neighbor. And it's been sitting in the woods for a really long time. When I got it, it was, it was terrible. So it's a sealed car battery. I, I, I don't know how to get these apart and, like, open them up. So I just got a thing. I'm going to see if I can't fix this with Epsom salt. So... I don't want to ruin this because I'm going to probably put this thing back on. And I'll glue it back down. That broke it. Oh well. That's alright. I'll find something else to put on. Let's see if I can't pop this the rest of the way off. Alright, I finally got that sucker ripped open. I don't know if you can see down on the cells, but... Look, they look like they're full, but they could probably use some fixing. Now, I don't know about the top of this, because I kind of broke it. There's a, there's a piece right over there, and there's some pieces down there. One under the workbench and crap, yeah. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can like fix that or not. I'll just put something over it, but I'm gonna put some Epsom salts in. Alright. Alright, I have a chunk of Epsom salts. I'm gonna like take it and bust it up. I've been outside for a while, so it's kinda I don't know. I'm just gonna add a little chunks in. I don't know what I'll use to put, the, put on a cover for this. I'll, I'll have to find something. I'm just kind of adding it, so... Well, this battery's junk anyway, so... I don't care. I'm gonna I'll get my battery charger and I'm gonna hook this up to it. I'll put my extra Epsom salts back in the little container. I need to probably I'll just add whatever's here to them. I don't wanna waste this because this stuff is probably not easy to get anymore. Because, you know, people use it to make crystal meth and crap. But I'm going to go find my battery charger and I'm going to see if I can't uh, charge this sucker. Alright, as you guys can see, I got my battery charger. I got my positive side to the positive. I broke off one of the alligator cups, so I'm using a paper clip to hold the positive on the pole. Works just as good. Actually, actually a lot tighter, so we're officially going to make contact. Let me get this. Butter charger has issues with humming really loud. Probably because I've charged a lot of junk batteries. Uh, I'm going to go get my multimeter and I'm going to see how it's doing, or I'm going to test the voltage. Uh, I'm going to give you the charging voltage. Now, this thing overcharges it at about 16 volts. About 16 volts. I'm going to unhook it. And I'm going to give you the, char or the discharge voltage. Well, it's obviously helped. 10 volts. About 10 volts. The harder I push, the more the voltage goes up and down. So, it must, it must have helped it. 
So, I'm going to let this charge on there for a, a few hours because that battery is pretty darn old and, well, it's also got a crack in the side. Now, I don't know if that could cause problems or not. You can probably see it right here where it's gotten hit. But uh, I'm going to see how, how this is going to do. Now, if I do mess up this battery, I have more batteries uh, over here that I got. I got I got all those batteries over there for free. So, let me hook this up. Uh, 16 volts. It's going up though. I hit 17. Better go to the 200 setting because once that passes out like 18 volts, it starts messing up. So we're gonna let this sucker charge for a while, and I'll get back to you guys when it when I think it's about done. And we'll test voltage. All right, guys. It's been on here about 20 minutes, and I've seen the voltage up to about 19 volts, about the highest voltage I've seen this. But um. Uh, we're fixing to see what it looks like when I take it off. So, uh, I'll just unplug the battery charger so I don't have to move my thing. So, we're fixing to see what happens. It's currently in the drop stage. We'll, we'll uh, get back to you guys here in a tad when this thing is dropped all the way down to where it stopped. Well, it's um, uh, <laughs> going up and down in voltage. Odd. But it's 13 volts, my god. Well, I guess it's uh, Yeah. We'll see if it runs something. Let me go find a light or something. Alright, so I have a car headlight. Let me uh, see if I can uh, touch this. And I'm gonna see if it works. Let me see if I can really get you guys on the view of this. Okay, look at this, guys. I revived it. Ah, crap, it popped off. Well, the voltage is. I haven't. See, this is a side post battery, I forget. And. Just don't. So as you guys can tell, it does. Epsom salts does revive a battery. Uh, if you guys need, if you guys have any questions, just comment below. And yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So subscribe and have a great day. See you.